so much for what we've already been blessed. But Father, now I pray that our hearts are open that you would speak to us. So Father, bless and anoint these words once again that we can have a clear understanding. And Father, I pray today that we leave here changed, excited, ready to just shout the story of Jesus to all people. <clears throat> Yes, Father, you loved us first. But loving you is such a pleasure. It's such joy in my heart. And I thank you for that, Father. And I pray now that you would use me, your servant, to speak to and through, that you would be glorified. So speak to our hearts today, Father. May no one leave this place not knowing you as Lord and Savior. What we ask in Jesus' name and amen. amen. Well, I tell you, I got joy. Amen. amen. Yeah, gospel music just fills me with joy. Amen. So when I'm down and out, I just turn on some gospel music and I sing like I'm part of it. It's okay because I'm at home, no one can hear. <laughs> but this morning in your uh, bulletin, I. Uh, wrote the scriptures that we're going to be in Psalms chapter 51. And uh, I think these are a, a time to understand that Nathan the prophet had came to David and was talking to him about the sin that he had with Bathsheba. And that's one of the greatest things that people know David for was that fall. But I want you to know that this is a prayer that David sung, a song that he sung to the Lord that was able to brighten his life, and it can brighten our lives because God forgives our sins. All we have to do is ask Him. Let's listen. I'm going to ask you to stand in a moment as I read God's holy word here in Psalms chapter 51, verse 1. <coughs> It says, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you and you only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight that you may be found just when you speak and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part you will make me know wisdom. Purge me with the hyssop, and I will, shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness that the bones you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins. Blot out my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit. Do not cast me away from your presence. Do not take your Holy Spirit from me. But listen, Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and upon me your generous spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your way, and sinners shall be converted to you. Amen. You may be seated. Isn't that a great passage of Scripture? Mark it in your Bibles. Use it when Satan attacks you. Just come in there and let him know that God has forgiven you. And that He can't do anything to you. All He can do is irritate you. But you know, one day, the Bible says that God's going to lock him up in the pits of hell forever. 
and we're never going to have to worry about it. Now, I, I, I'm still trying to imagine that day, but I want to be there. He's caused me enough pain and anguish in my life. I want to be there. So this morning, I'm going to ask you to do something for me. Because I believe we should carry the joy of the Lord with us everywhere we go. And yeah, Denny, joy to the world is not only for Christmas. It's all the time. We should bring joy into the world. We heard the songs. What does the world need? It needs Jesus. Amen. And joy of Jesus. So I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. If you grab your hymnals and turn to page 87. Don't worry, I'm not saying it. <laughs> I've seen sweat breaking out of your faces and panic signs all over. But I want you to go to page 87. It's joy to the world. And in the very first verse, this is what I want you to do. I want you to try to sing that verse with a frown and a smudgy on your face. Okay? Go ahead. Oh, you do good. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> you just almost can't do it, can you? Now let's sing it with a smile on your face. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let her receive her King. Every heart prepare the room. And heaven and nature sing. That was awesome, y'all. I was watching, you was trying. I mean, you started out really good, but then you just couldn't do it. You started smiling. But you know, there are some Christians out there that walks around like that. And this is what the world probably hears when we are in that mood and we just don't want anything. They probably hear, Joy to the world, the Lord has come, blah, 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 blah. I don't want to sing this song. It's really nothing that I really believe, blah, 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 blah. That's what the world sees. And if, if we walk around with no joy, that's what they're going to see. So it was so awesome to watch you sing and the smiles come up. And uh, the word joy itself, I looked it up, and you almost have to smile when you read it. It, it means to uh, have great pleasure and happiness. Amen. Doesn't Jesus bring joy to you? Amen. Then quit frowning. <laughs> come on. Yeah. Jesus is the reason that we come and we feel great. And he wants us to leave here excited every service. He wants us to have great happiness. He wants the world to see that his people are joyous. That they have some reason to shout and to be excited because they know when that trumpet sounds. Oh, hallelujah. What are we going to do? We're going to fly away. Oh, I'm waiting for that day. I can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. You guys were making me homesick. And, uh, and I just started thinking, i got to work harder and faster so he'll come. That's what it is. Because the Bible says that everyone has to hear the Word of God before Jesus comes. Everybody has to have a chance. So get off your rears and let's go because I want to go home. Okay? we got to do this. we got to get excited. we got to get out there. People need to see us smile. Amen. I mean, I want you to just look to the person next to you. And don't say nothing. Just smile. Just smile. They have to smile right back at you, don't they? Now turn around and smile at somebody behind you. See? Look at that. Oh, these guys are cracking smiles, pews over each other. Wow. I need a dentist. <laughs> well, I know the Bible says one day you're going to be perfect, and you're not going to have to worry about that. Yes, sir. You know, that's what joy does. Just what you guys did. You know, I, I just can't say that. i got to have some joy. Oh, bless you. 
you too much. Oh, that's true. How do you just sit here and not say Jesus? accepted it all. And the Bible said that David was saying, restore to me your salvation and uphold me by your generous spirit. See, when we become saved, the Bible says that God locks the spirit in us. So that when we don't know what to say or do, that spirit will groan into heaven Things for us. We heard last night, sometimes we just don't know what to say. And we just sit there. God hears our hearts. He hears the spirit in us. So let me tell you. i got to have a commercial. This is part one of a two-part sermon. I don't know when I'm going to do part two, so you're going to have to come every Sunday to find out. <laughs> so if you don't want to miss part two, you got to come every week. And, and I really hate missing the conclusion of something that's really great. So remember that. Now, I want to tell you, I don't know about you, but I want to share joy, don't you? Amen. That's what God wants us to do. The Bible tells us that salvation is so easy. Romans chapter... 
10, verse 9 tells us that if we believe within our heart and we confess with our mouth, this is what he wants us to believe. He wants us to believe that Jesus died for us. First, he wants us to believe he's the Son of God. Then he died for us. And that he rose up for us. It's just as important to know that Jesus died and rose up. Because that's where you get your victory. Victory in death of Jesus. Because that's where we get eternal life. I have goosebumps on goosebumps on goosebumps. <laughs> Just thinking about Jesus walking out of that tomb saying, Nanny, nanny. <laughs> huh? Don't you think he looked the same and just had a smile on his face? And <laughs> you thought you won. Yeah. <laughs> See, we can do the same thing. God wants us to know that through salvation we are given that power. The gift of joy. And, and this morning, Believe it or not, I'm ready to wrap up. I know it's a shocker. But listen to me. I want you to leave here with joy in your heart. Amen. If you can't think of nothing else, remember what David said. Lord, you already know my sins. And I've sinned against you. But Father, what did he say? Blot them out. And you know what God did? Blotted them out. God can't even see them anymore. Isn't that wonderful? That's what the gift of salvation does for us this morning. So I'm going to ask you to stand now. I'm going to ask Dee to come and play some very soft music here for us. And I'm going to ask you to bow your heads this morning. And even if you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I still want you to do this. But if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I especially want you to do this. Anyone that hears my voice this morning and prays this prayer, I'm guaranteeing you that Jesus will save you. Pray this prayer with me. Dear Father God, I know I'm a sinner. I believe you gave me your son Jesus to pay for my sins. I need forgiven of these sins. And I ask you now to forgive me of my sins. I believe that Jesus died for me. And I believe Jesus rose from the dead for me. So Father, right now, I receive your free gift. Of salvation. of salvation. Thank you, Father, Thank you, Father. For, saving for saving me from hell. I pray this in the name, the name of my new Savior, my new Savior Jesus, Christ. Jesus Christ. And amen. All God's people says what? Amen. 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 Isn't God good? Amen. Give God glory. You can't leave there. So turn that frown upside down and smile. Jesus loves you. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. May the face of God shine upon you. As God blesses you, you take that blessing and bless someone else. Go in the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And amen. amen.